everybody. Today, I'm going to show you my DIY rubber band pod car. All you need, all you need is a bottle, a, a bottle, a rubber band, scissors, a straws, toothpicks, and in four bottle caps which are of same size. Tape to tape with the string, tape and pencil. For the, you have to tape the pencil to the ground and pull the rubber band and then and it will move. So let's find out. So this is how it looks like. So I made it, it with the bottle caps with the bottle and caps. You can use CDs also for the wheels and even you could use cardboard to cover. Then in the end you can decorate however you, however you like. Like I've decorated with car stickers, stars and the and a uh heart. -huh. So, the, so the, I'll tell you some fun facts. Rubber band cars are ears, you stretched rubber band as a power source. And another fun fact is longer and tighter rubber bands provide more potential energy. And we can experiment with different materials and design to study how it enhances car working. So what we learn from it. So we learn about potential energy and conversion to kinetic energy. And we and another what we learned is we learned how rubber bands stretching can change cars performance and last one is we explore the ways how to change the car speed and then I'll show you the last so maybe one day we'll make a race car related to this rubber band park card and maybe we'll have something like this in the future and then Earth will be super happy. Yay! Last one, how does it work? And how does it work? The unwinding of the rubber band in the car creates a force that pushes it to move forward. The force propels the car forward similar to how engines create propulsion in the vehicles. The backward force generated by the rubber band pushes the car in the opposite direction, allowing it to move forward. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with more science projects. And so, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with more science videos. Science, bye!